Happy Monday, my precious, and we are on to the next episode of the house series. So I moved the shoe rack in here in this coat closet instead because we have more room and I just want to open up the living room a little bit. So while I was cleaning out that closet, I found a whole bunch of faux marble vinyl paper and so I was really inspired to create this faux marble um, coffee table. It was simple, it was just in the moment, and I was bored, so I was like, hey, let's just kill some time. Let's see if I can make this place a little bit better because it was just such an eyesore before. And so this is what I came up with, and I will link the full tutorial down below, as well as on video. All you have to click on it, and it'll take you there. And after I fixed up the coffee table, I ended up going grocery shopping. I am making hot pot tonight, and so let's get started with tonight's dinner. Along with my grocery trip, of course, I picked up some new shampoo. These just came out and I just really want to give them a try. Apparently, according to the person that sold it to me, um, they said that this is really good for girls with thin hair because it helps thicken it, especially during the winter. Because a lot of time when you have thin hair like I do, um, your curls just look very flat and you kind of want to wash your hair and use condition if you want to thicken it and make give it a lot more volume. So I'm going to go ahead and try it out. I will give you a full review when I'm done. Happy Tuesday my babes! So a new piece of Art Me Out came. You guys are not going to know what it is till much later down the road so if you're excited go ahead and thumbs up in the video and let me know so I can show you the next art piece. Talking about the next art piece, I actually put this together myself. Yep, it came today and I got too excited so I just go ahead and put it all together. With my marble table looking so beautiful, I was inspired to put on some makeup and do a fall in love um, style book. So if you haven't watched that video, I will link this on camera as well as down below. So my girlfriend actually purchased the Helix and she told me that Sunrising Bed had the same type of mattress but for half the price and so she told me to give it a try since she gave Helix a try. I'm fulfilling my part. Here is my purchase of the Sun um, Rising Bed. I got this within four days of purchase and well, along with that, my new bed also came. I got this off of Wayfair. I will link this down below as well as the mattress. If you want a full review, let me know by commenting that down below also. So this also came today. Yup! Two new orders. The first is what I'm super excited for. This is the Centro Smile. Um, I have heard so many good things about them and I'm just obsessed with whitening my teeth. So I definitely will give them a try and then talk about it afterward. Um, another thing that came, of course, my Oak Leaf. I'm obsessed with this company. They have been so generous. They actually sent me those products for free. So I want to give a shout out to them. And I will link the tutorial down below as well as on video if you're interested. Happy Wednesday, my babe. Guess what came today? I ordered this seriously on Sunday and today I got it. I am super excited because I was currently um, doing a whole bunch of DIY around the house, so this is perfect. During this whole time, I'm thinking to myself, like, this is a really big box. I wonder if I can fit inside and can I start making prank video? And then it just dawned me, I must get inside. Here we go, here we go, let's see how I fit. I'm gonna scare my boyfriends today. So I couldn't hear her bell, so I wasn't sure if she was coming, so I got really curious and I just kind of took a peek and she was upstairs just looking at me. Hi Coco! Box. Don't you like boxes? Come here, Coco. 
All right, so back to work. The reason why we're going to put everything together today is because tomorrow's trash day. Yes, Thursday's trash day. Therefore, everything has to be unboxed because everything has to go out in the front. That is why I'm just going to cram everything today. And hopefully when my husband gets home, we can just finish the bed and throw that outside too so that the trash can guys can pick it up. But overall, Coco is just as excited about um, unboxing as I am. I love how everything is packaged and how nothing is damaged because it's been rainy in Boston and when the box um, came it was busted up and so I was really afraid but I know it's not a company fault, it's probably just transportation fault but I was still really worried so I had to look everything over and because the poster is really curled up I had to place everything on top of one another to straighten the poster out as well as check through all the frames to make sure they're not damaged. And as you know, I did a DIY on Monday and I had so much of these vinyl um, leftover that I decided to kind of hook one of the frame up with this and I did a DIY on it. I have recorded it and I will link that down below when that video is good and ready, but it is not done. And I did do another faux marble um, frame. There's quite a few that I kind of combined together, but today I kind of want to give you a preview on what I got and you'll see a full review on this as well as where it belonged later down the road and along with this massive order this came yes my windsor store oh i'm super excited there's so many good things inside and to celebrate i decided to have some spaghetti time to spoil myself with a whole bunch of calories and after dinner we decided to put everything together because once again trash day is tomorrow so it makes no sense to not get it done today so Chris is going to put this together but first I have to sweep the floor as Chris is reading the instruction on how to put it together um, then he'll tell me what to do and what he need me to do and then we just kind of work together as a team to put this together and honest to god I could have done this myself in other words, it is super easy and you can technically do this yourself you don't really need the help but help will make this whole process go by so much faster Originally, this was my computer room or my recording room, but I decided to give it up because we're going to have a lot of guests coming over from Nebraska for the wedding, and I just kind of want to get all of this out of the way and just turn this into a home. The theme for this room is going to be French. Um, it's not like the Bedore version, like the Marie Antoinette room. It's more like a simple French room. It is still missing two night lamp, a chandelier, Possibly another chase, um, definitely a writing desk or some vanity. I'm not quite sure what I want to buy yet. I'm still looking around for better deals. And right now, Chris is unloading the long-awaited mattress. <sighs> I'm super excited. I just, oh, I just can't wait. I love these new method where after you open it, it just expand. I think it is so crazy cool. Review wise, um, I got this bed super fast, which is great. I love that it is in great quality. It's actually easier to unpack than the Helix, but maybe we just had, you know, the first time experience already, so this time it was easier. The price is very affordable. This is definitely so much better than Sleepy. The choice of mattress that we choose is on the softer, firm side instead of the extremely firm that we have everywhere else. After it has fully risen, um, we both laid on it and I actually really like this mattress. I definitely want to go back and grab a king for the or room. Oh my gosh, it is finally Thursday, and on Thursday I record. I try my very best to put a video in a day, and if you're interested in watching my get ready with me routine on how to achieve my current fall favorite look, then go ahead and click on this video as well as the video that I link down below. So after I got done with getting ready, I filmed my first episode of my tea talk. Tea talk will be a Thursday kind of thing where we're going to gossip, we're going to talk about, well, anything over tea so this is your first official preview i will link this down below when it goes live happy friday and on friday i'm cleaning up my closet because i am trying to finish the siri up as much as i can it is a complete mess what i don't like about it is it just 
kind of everywhere and I kind of want to open the closet up and give it more room because yes there's a lot of clothes and there's a lot of box I'm not done unboxing but I kind of want to make it look more clean and more open and since my husband is going to be busy this weekend and we're not going to do much I'm just going to put my whole time and dedication into cleaning this mess up Though it doesn't look like much, though it looks like it's just hanging, there's actually a certain art way of doing this. I'm very particular on where I like my things as well as how I like to arrange it. If you're interested in these little rolling rack, I will link that down below. Um, I find them to be very reliable. It holds up to 250 pound worth of clothing, so it's not going to break and fail on you. So that's something I really like. And of course, there are many different types. As long as you get the heavy duty one, it should last. I have tried this Target brand and the plastic brand, which was a little bit cheaper, but it just did not last for me. And so I really recommend if you're going to do something, do it right the first time. So what I did here is I actually lower that so that I can actually see the back a little bit better. So now that everything is off the floor, off the couch, now I think about, okay, how can I make this better? How can I take pieces away? And so a lot of the time when I'm thinking about cleaning, I'm really thinking about where am I going to put something? Um, how often do I wear something? How could this be better? How can I take things away? So those are the tips that I do have to give you. Um, a blink of an eye and it's already 7 p.m. I took a shower and now I'm going to play with my cat and call it a night. Happy Saturday and Saturday I'm just going to spend it cleaning up my closet as well as working on the wedding invite. Those are priorities so I'm going to go ahead and get this done. So for now, I can't say that my closet is done to be very honest. I'm still thinking of where to arrange certain things and my purse definitely are not going to be there. I don't like things near the window like that. Shoe wise, I have got rid of that little shoe rack. I brought it downstairs so that the guests can put their dirty shoes on outside. So I have a total of two of those like 50 pairs um, shoe rack. I decided to arrange them between the clothes as well underneath this area so I'm making great use of space. So I'm not fully sure of how I want to arrange my shoe yet. So as you're looking at this, you'll realize that it starts to change as it go throughout the room. I'm still seeing which way do my eye, you know, like. So I just kind of keep it there for a little bit just so I can see. Flat-wise, I'm sure that I want to tuck them one on top of another because I have too many flats and it takes up too many room. Therefore, stuffing them one into another was a better idea. Um, another way is I like to put one in the front and one in the back. This way, I'm using the full color space and I can actually add more pairs instead of just putting one next to another so I thought that was a great use of space there up here are the shoes that I used to go out in I definitely love them because they don't make them anymore but I don't know when I'll get to use them again so hum these are the shoes that I created here are my higher end shoe um, most of them are still in their box because well I just don't have any place to put them yet as well as these and my glasses are on the bottom now because I have no other space and of course you can see that my boots are just laying there that's not even all of them yet so um, down here the, these are too tall to stuff all the way inside so they have to be this way versus on the left hand side where you only see one of something which mean it is small enough for me to push it inward and it goes right underneath so I can actually have more pair of shoes and over here is where I have this small empty space I thought it would be nice for clutches because this is the last thing I grab for when I go out. Here's the newest addition to my babies. Um, as you can see, the closet is not fully done. I'm still trying to be inspired because you can never fully be done with these things. Especially when I have plenty more of um, space to use and really expand. But this is what it looks like so far. I'm pretty happy with it. It's enough for me to just even walk around. Hopefully after my Korea trip, um, starting next year, 2017, I'll have plenty of time, I guess, to work on my closet. But for now, I'm going to try to do what I can. But definitely, I don't have the time to fork out to work on this. There's just too many things and not enough space. And I know that sounds very vain, but really, I do have a lot of things and I need more closet space so until my third floor nook area is done I will be pretty crunch into this room 
And technically I can split this into three different rooms into three different closet, but I kind of want to use the other room for a guest room. As you know, my wedding is coming up, so I'm trying to crunch stuff into my closet for now. Maybe after the wedding, I'll blow it up and expand it into a three bedroom closet. This way it will fit better. See, um, everything inside the box are actually full. The reason why it's not expanded to its full capacity to where it looks nicely arranged is because I have no space. So definitely thinking about doing a personal room for all of my designer good. But let me know what you think of my closet so far. I know it's definitely not nice to tease you guys with a semi-finished closet, but this is what I have to do. And this is the housing update for today. When I have a super busy day, I try to give my cat at least 20 minutes of playtime um, and she really loved playing this game where she thinks she's catching a bug and yeah, she really enjoy it. There you go! Happy Sunday my babies! Today my husband and I will be staying up all day and all night to finish our wedding invite. We're going with a Gatsby theme so the outer cover is black and let's get to work, shall we? We got our invite made at Emerald Invitation. Um, we have a total of 375 invite of which we have to apply the invite to and set up the RSVP card as well as the envelope and just going to be a lot of work for Chris and I. And we wanted this old English kind of touch or Gatsbyness, so we're going to add the silver trim ribbon because it matches with the rising ink that we have within the envelope or within the invite. And now we're just figuring out how do we want to arrange a ribbon. Um, each invite is customized because it is going to have a wax seal with orange name monogram and i'm going with this red black and white kind of theme here's how the ribbon look like it has a tinsel silvery look and this is how it looks like after the wax seal has been put on i think it's quite classy i want to stay away from the whole super girly look because the theme of the wedding is gatsby and tiffany and i don't know it's a lot of work but i think it's completely worth it Anyways, that is the end of my week. Thank you so much for watching and tune in next week for the next house episode. Bye!